Russian Forum on the Budget Report? Yes, yes, yes. Several, like about five to ten times. How would you rate on average your satisfaction from the national government on the special forums on the budget you have attended in the past? Neither satisfied nor dissatisfied. Why do you say that? Because it is 50-50. Sometimes uh, you propose some things for, for them during the forums and then when it goes up there, it is not considered, yet you feel that uh, there are important things in the society. Okay. Yeah. The national government uses 10 sectors to mm. allocate funds in the budget. Mm. Can you name any of these sectors? List the national sectors that you know. Uh, at least I know of agriculture, defense, education, infrastructure, security, health, tourism, our water and mining. We would like to know mm. how much would you give in the year 2018-19 to this sector? I'll give agriculture 9%. That is uh, depending on uh, the, 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 the 100% threshold. Then I'll give uh, defense 10%. Uh, then I'll give uh, infrastructure 25%. Then I'll give education 15%. Then I'll give uh, health 10%, uh, uh, tourism 5%, transport 15%, then water 6%. Is that the most allocation to infrastructure? Infrastructure. How would you explain to someone at the national uh, I think infra infrastructure is very important because it's, it touches uh, so many people in the society. For instance, if we have good roads, then the farmer will not suffer. If we have a good structure in uh, learning institutions, children will not suffer and will produce more uh, scholars to go and now come back and help. If we have uh, good health facilities, we'll not have to go to India because we'll have good infrastructure around us. If we equip our uh, children with the good learning gadgets and all that, then I think all will be well if we equip our academic institution, higher learning institutions with the state of the art equipment, then we'll, 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 we'll be growing the economy positively. Mm. What mm. additional information would you have wanted to know before you made the decision about the percentage to give to each sector? I would wish to know what is the total revenue collected by the national government every year and uh, I would also wish to know in the past five years. Mm. I would also wish to know what is the revenue allocation strategies that the government use to, 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 to do the budget. Uh, I, will, I would also wish to know what informs the budget making process. Then uh, I would also wish to know who are the main players in the government making process, apart from the common manainchi and the forums and all that. Do we have any international involvement and all that? And also wish to know what informs borrowing in order to supplement the budgets that we have. Have you ever participated in a national government public participation forum on the budget before? No. The national government uses 10 sectors to allocate funds in the budget. Yes. Can you name any of the sectors? List the national sectors you know. At least uh, there is health sector, educational sector, agricultural sector, I think security, there is also environment, uh, sports, mining, and interior planning. Thank you. Yes. Suppose you are the one allocating resources to these sectors. Yes. What allocation would you give each of the sectors? At least I would give health 15%. Education, I'll give it 10%. Agriculture, 20%. Sports, 8%. International, I think, international something affairs, 3%. National security and intelligence, 15%. Environment, 
10%, trade and social services 5%, interior planning 7%, and mining 7%. Damaris, yes. Tell me, what would you have liked to know before you made that decision? What additional information I think the most important thing we should be sensitized first that we may know how these allocations are done and the reason why each sector is given the allocation. Yeah. Ile forum tunafanya na kuru leo ni moja kati ya kadhaa ambazo tumekuwa tukifanya katika kaunti tofauti tulifanya moja Nairobi April tulifanya moja Mombasa tulifanya moja Isiolo wiki hii na sasa tumefika na kuru. Na kwa sababu ya kufanya hizi forum ni kwa sababu tunataka tuweze kuambia National Treasury Ministry of Finance na pia Parliament ambazo zinashughulika na mambo ya kutengeneza bajeti ya kitaifa number one, ni muhimu kufanya public participation wakati mnatengeneza national budget. Jambo la pili ni kuonesha kwamba public participation ambayo imekuwa kwa sababu kuna kidogo imekuwa ikifanyika lakini sana sana Nairobi eh, ni kwamba vile tunafanya public participation ya national budget can actually be improved and here is what the people in these different counties think about how that process can improve. So leo tutakuwa na nafasi ya kusoma sekta za national government zinakaa ina gani? nakaa na mna gani na jambo la pili na hiyo ndiyo decision ambayo mtakuwa mnafanya leo ni ni pesa ngapi zinatakiwa kupatiwa kwa kila sekta kwa hivyo leo itakuwa discussion sana kati yetu more than me facilitating and dictating what you should say nafikiria ni muhimu kwanza tujiulize budget process huwa inakaa vipi budget ya kitaifa ina sehemu nne tofauti Sehemu ya kwanza ni mahali tunaandaa budget. So ukiangalia hiyo section ambayo ni blue that is where we are formulating the budget. When we are formulating the budget we are planning, so we are making plans. At the same time we are highlighting our priorities. What priorities do we want to fund as a country? The sector discussion ambayo tutakuwa tunazungumzia leo pia inafanyika katika sehemu hiyo. Kwa sababu wakati tunazungumzia kutengeneza budget ya sekta ni kumaanisha tunafikiria hii sekta inatakiwa kutoa huduma gani? Hii sekta inapanga kufanya miradi ipi? Na inahitaji pesa ngapi kuhakikisha mambo yao yote yanafanyika? How much money do we want to give to each sector? That's a very critical decision. Hata ukiniuliza nafikiria ndiyo decision muhimu zaidi ambayo inafanywa katika serikali. Ukiangalia kwa hiyo section ya blue hapa juu tunaona mahali pameandikwa February 15th. Fuata tu tutaona mahali imefika imeweka February 15th. February 15th there is a very important document that is tabled in the National Assembly. Inaitwa budget policy statement. Hiyo budget policy statement umuhimu wake ni mambo mawili. Jambo la kwanza hiyo ndio inaamua budget yetu mzima itakuwa inatosha na aje. Will it be 6. Point, will it be 2.6 trillion? Will it be 1 trillion? We make that decision in February. Jambo la pili la muhimu katika hiyo document ni kwamba kila sekta itapata pesa ngapi that decision is also made through that document so the discussion we shall be having today is what is our view kama watu wanakuru leo about how much money should go to each of these sectors the big question is what is the best way to learn about these sectors between now and 1 pm i want to hear that from you because you you will tell me what is the best way you feel of approaching it Miskia maoni kadha yes Johnson Yes uh, I think we have a, a bit of an extra minute Yes we we'll go through individually then uh -huh. we come to groups so that we can have something Okay Okay so Johnson's suggestion is is actually is a, is, a, is a good one so you read individually for a couple of minutes you flip the, through the pages together for a, uh, alone for a couple of minutes and then the rest of the 50 minutes mkuwe kwa groups Is that a suggestion? That's one suggestion. Uh -huh. Anyone else with a different suggestion? I think that uh -huh. we summary. Yes. And I think you understand all the sectors. 
why can't you give us a summary of all the sectors? Uh -huh. Then we discuss later after knowing. The reason why mom staki kufanya summary ni kwa sababu nikifanya summary ni kumaanisha ile discussion ambayo mtakuwa nayo afternoon ni kulingana na chenye nilisema. Mtasikiza summary yangu hata muandike notes ikifika afternoon watu wakitoa majembe ama wakitoa ni watakuwa kulingana na summary ya nani which will be very unfair to all of you. Yes. Now I think uh <laughs> so are you in agreement with his suggestion that first of all we start with our interest sectors? Yes. Mm -hmm. After we are done with our interest sectors, to one ngapi zimebaki. Zile ambazo zitabaki tugawane among the whole group so that at least we have an idea about the remaining sectors ndio afternoon wakati tutakuwa tunazungumza at least tumeelewa kila sekta wewe inafanya nini na labda inaweza hitaji nini ndio miradi yake na huduma zake ziendelee kufanyika vizuri exactly. are we all in agreement with that yes, yes ma'am yeah i just want to say one uh -huh. my opinion was like uh, the attend sectors uh -huh. why can't we have five groups mm -hmm. each group take two to two okay that's even more specific to your point. Are we okay with that? We divide ourselves into five groups. Each group just looks at two sectors between now and lunchtime. Then the discussion in the afternoon has all the sectors, at least with views from the whole room. Let me do an election. I said I'm very democratic. How many of us agree with that suggestion? Five groups. How many disagree with that suggestion? Okay, so the ones who say yes have it. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that uh, we talked about we, we want to understand. Yeah. Yes. The purpose is to understand what normally happens under these MDAs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, why don't we run through like the National Treasury? We try, we try find out uh, under general administration what do you think? They are doing in that, and then public finance management. What normally goes around that, so that when it comes to to the locations, we are able to compare the locations versus what they are doing. Eh? National Treasury, you know, there are around one, two, three, four, five. There are five program areas that have been listed here. One is general administration planning and the support services. I think that those are the current. Those are the current expenditures. Then uh, economic and financial policy formulation and management. Yeah. yeah. That could also be a component of finance uh, budgeting. Market competition. Yes, uh, you I'm not very sure, but I think it involves issues of regulation in terms of. Uh, Regulation within the market in terms of pricing. Yeah, yeah. The second the MDA, State Department for Planning and Statistics. Of course, happened you took on what to come a Kenya Bill of Statistics. So, here in Guinea, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Trade, Foreign Relations and Diplomacy, Wajiri, Wajiri, Ambassadors, Consulates. So we know what this means. Yeah. This is the, the ministry that is responsible for branding Kenya. Yeah, Parliament. Parliament in Nambiri. Kuna Parliament. Kuna Parliament in Kuna Senate. National. Uh, so national registration, presentation, and oversight. All those things. Laws, formation, and all that. Yeah. <laughs> but in the Parliament, there is also general administration, planning, and support services. Mm -hmm. This has to do with the salaries. Mm -hmm. 
the recurrent expenditures within Parliament, support to retreats and the page marking meetings that our MPs do. Yeah? Uh, of course, it has to do with committees. We're talking about oversight, registration and oversight. This has to do with uh, the affairs within the committees. Kona hii ya presidency. Na mweona presidency ni kubwa. Unaona hapa kuna cabinet affairs. Hawa ni ma CS na ma PS. Ya, tukiendelea under devolution. So devolution, we know the ministry of devolution. Uh, so it talks about basically the administration, the staff, or the ministry, uh, and the operations behind the ministry. So when you move to Public Service Commission, I believe we know the PSC, uh, yeah. CRA, Commission of Revenue Allocation. CRA uh, determines the amount of money that will go to counties. Yeah. So, uh, Sarah Serem Commission, I know we, <laughs> we are very much aware of that. Eh? So, when we look at the control of budget, <laughs> do we understand what she does? No. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So, uh, control and manage public finances. Eh? So, what the control of budget normally do, number one, uh, after the county assembly may produce the budgets, ama even the national, he's the one to authorize now the usage of that money and approve that now you, uh, we are removing this money to be taken to this now you can start to use it. So secondly also, and monitor, eh? and monitor how the money is used because the, the controller budget is supposed to produce quarterly reports on the implementation of audit per county, yeah? implementation reports. So now the final one, eh? to, uh, commissions the commission. of administration on justice, promotion of administration justice. This is the ombudsman. Eh? Yes. Ah, yeah, the ombudsman is the office now that is in charge of looking at the corruption issues within the government. Now we are making the final decision. But it's going to be a final decision and by on attack at Badu to Jadiliane and to Kubaliane Villetta for the final decision. Agriculture, rural and urban development. How much do you want to allocate to this one? Five. Mwalimu Amesema five percent. Why five percent? Well, we want to increase food production. Okay. So that we don't have hunger in Kenya. Uh-huh. Mine is a location of 6%. 6%, so just a percentage point above his, yes. Kenya, the backbone of our economy is agriculture. Yes. And it should be looked into keenly and given enough fund because if we because every every Kenyan in one way or another involves himself in agriculture. Meaning the government should look at this, all us should look at agriculture as the first thing in when when allocating budget. Kulingana na vile naona kila mtu anataka allocation ya agriculture yongezwe. Ile tofauti ambayo iko ni niongezwe na kiasi gani? Hiyo. So now what how do we decide this? So it is 3 5 6 10 20 Five. We do the means. Five. Five. We take five. What How do we decide? We get the means. Someone who has a way to finish this acclamation. Acclamation. No. We do the mean. We do the mean. We do the mean. Forty-six divided by how many? By five. So it's nine point what? That is ten percent. Nine point. So it's nine. Okay, Andika 9. The I next sector okay. is education. How much do we allocate to this sector and why? As far as education is concerned, uh -huh. I may feel that uh, an addition, according to the government uh, proposal, yes, huh? we need an addition for education se sector. Uh -huh. One, the education sector has been uh, with a lot of uh, demonstration from teachers, enough salaries, the, the, the bursaries for 
from our children. So this sector is a key sector uh, when it comes to our common knowledge. It should be allocated 25%. 25%? Uh, mine is also increasing from 20 to 25. Uh -huh. Because we are talking of large classes that are unmanageable, which needs more teachers. Not forgetting that our population is growing. And so every year, if there is a, a sector that will be, we will need a lot of money is education. Because we are getting more children every year that are being added. Still, we have more schools that are being built. If we take all these things into consideration, they cannot be sustained by the same amount of allocated money. Okay. So what do we go with and how do we decide this? 20, we have 20, 20, 20, we have 23. 20, 20, what do we go with? 20. 20. Someone is saying mean grade? 20. You also need to vote. Eh? 20. Yeah. In case you have your options limit here, yeah? you want to vote. Yes. Yeah? Okay. 20. 20. 20. How do you want to One, two, three, four, three, four five, six. Five, That's five, 12. Five, I have 25. 25. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, thirteen, twenty-three. None. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. That's two, three. Four, three. So which ones are born? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, health. How much should we allocate to health and why? Yes, Christine. Uh, I think health should be increased uh -huh. for the same reason that agriculture should be increased. Because uh -huh. if um, a nation is healthy, then everybody is everybody is working towards the goal of the country. The percentage is left at the federal government uh -huh. largely has been put has been put to creating care. Uh -huh. Meaning they want to focus on treating and preventing. Who would want to suggest? We want to discuss a preventive care. Okay. In this case, other than the creative care, because the creative care creates a room for manufacturers who are you see people in this pharmaceutical industry? The manufacturer medicine and the ham, even some standards. So I have a sector that has broad problems. So we would want to see, even if we have increased the health sector a little bit, but it has to be on the creative uh, on preventing. So basically what you are suggesting, if I get you right, yes. is that what needs to happen is a movement in the money within the sector. Within the sector. You talk about curative, you end up about preventing. Okay. Okay. Thank you. okay. So you want to keep it at what percentage? Wait. Four percent. Four percent. At the government proposal one? Yeah, that's four, percent. four percent. Okay. To say that we maintain four percent, bearing in mind there is a problem within the health sector. We are, we are being unfair. Not, uh, we are not realistic. Anyway, the research has to be made. And to have something we call indicator values, the critical factors, the verification of the sector, what it has done. So when we come to that, we will find that this sector needs in, uh, to be increased to the allocation. So now, how do we make the decision? Because it seems no one is convincing the other one. Average. Average. Maintain. Maintain is not how we make the decision. Maintain is a suggestion that was made. Do we vote or do we do an average? Average. Average, average is 4.3. So it remains 4. Uh, which sector do, we, sector do we go to next? National security. How much money do you suggest should be allocated to national security? Uh -huh. They are using their money very well. Okay. Yes. So you are okay with a, a slight okay. increase? Uh, yes, I'm okay with Well, this one seems to be one of those ones which will come to a consensus. Okay, nine. Okay. 
Which sector do you want to go next? Governance, Governance justice, law, and order. These are very big sectors. Eh? I am Munataka Governance, Justice, Law and Order, Ipatue Pesangapi. What is your suggestion? Wabaki tu hapo. That will allow them to absorb the remaining 10% on the <laughs> Why do you think 11% will be good? The budget uptake is 90%. Uh -huh. So if they retain the 11%, uh, I think they will use the, the other. Yeah. Properly. Properly. Uh -huh. All right, so is the whole room in agreement that we keep justice, law and order, we give justice, law and order 11%? Yes. Well, I'm surprised that went that way. <laughs> Which sector do we go to next? We are done with agriculture, education, health. Number three, energy, energy infrastructure and ICT. How much do you want to allocate to this sector? It should, be, it should be reduced to 25 percent because uh -huh. if you look at their budget uptake, it is 64 uh percent. -huh. So why do they get so why do they want to get so much and they can only spend 64 percent of what we get? Right. What are the same here? Kwamba kwa sababu sector hi ni sector ambayo na kuwa sana kwa kasi uki kujia ku kuelewa utakuta ya kwamba kuna ubumbuzi mwingi ambao unaendelea uh, kufanyika na ili tuweze kuharakisha ni vyema tuwape rasilimali ambayo itawasaidia kuwasukuma tusije tena tukasalia kule nyuma tukaelezwa ya kwamba ilisimama kwa sababu fedha zilikuwa hapa kwa hiyo pango mimi wacha tuwaongeze lakini Unataka kuwapa ngapi? Nikiwaongeza asilimia kama mbili. Hakuna consensus hata kwa hii? 25? Okay, how many are going with 25? Okay, that seems like the majority. Eh? Which sector do we go with next? Social protection, culture and recreation. How much do you want to allocate to this? I want... So you want to increase the sector's allocation to five? Five percent. Yes, because of the given the number of PWDs and OBDs which is increasing. Okay. And more are being registered. I assume it's also about registration. Okay. Is everyone okay with five percent? Yes. I have five percent. To be back in Angapi. Twelve. I have. What is the next sector? Public administration and international relations. How much do you want to allocate to this? Five, why five? Remember every time you make a suggestion you have to support it. So public administration munataka kupati angapi? Ten percent. Ten percent. Ten. Anyone else? Okay. Let's put 10, and now this is where the drama begins. Yeah. Environment, protection, water, and natural resources. We have only 2% of the budget remaining. You want to give it one one? Kuna sector mbili zimebaki. Ya general, uh, economic and commercial affairs. One. I have a general economic 1%. Environment, protection. protection, water, and natural resources. Yeah. We only have one percent remaining to allocate. With where do we make the cuts? Yes, Francis. When we were allocating that, yeah, you thought of irrigation. Uh huh. Uh huh. And because it is under this, uh huh. We the increase if we cut four percent. Uh -huh. And the culture has still an increase of two percent. I think it has increased. Yes, 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 exactly. And this, yeah. yes, this would be the two percent that we would have added to our culture would cater for the things that they would do. Like, so, are we in agreement Agriculture. that we move four percentage points to water and natural resources and leave agriculture with five? Yes. And then keep education at 25. Yeah. 
yes. and general economic at one. Yes. yes. Is there anyone in disagreement? This is where now minority also have a voice. Because you have to listen to them. Who is a minority here? I, by minority, I mean in terms of making the decision. Oh. <laughs> yes. So we are in agreement with that. Yes. Aya, June, Maliza, Teboetun, Diotuangalien.